When Sarah and Michael Johnson first introduced their little baby girl to their husky, they were worried to see how she would react. And when the child started bawling one night, they were left in shock by the dog's reaction. Little Lily's arrival into the world was greeted with joy and excitement, even though she possessed a set of lungs that could rival the mightiest of opera singers. Nothing her sleep-deprived parents did really seemed to help the poor baby, who would scream until she almost made herself pass out. Sarah and Michael had tried everything to soothe her, but it seemed as if nothing could halt the ceaseless howling that echoed through their home at all hours. Their desperation grew as their precious daughter's cries only intensified. It was during one such storm of inconsolable wailing that their savior made her entrance. Julie, their faithful Siberian husky, had been with them long before Lily's arrival. Julie was a gentle and intelligent companion who had witnessed the baby's birth and had been a source of comfort to her during her difficult times. When Lily began to cry, Julie would often approach her with a concerned look in her striking blue eyes, her fluffy white coat making her appear like a guardian angel. But Sarah and Michael were quite cautious of her getting too close or comfortable with their child. After all, they had heard many horror stories of dogs reacting negatively to new babies. Sarah and Michael had adopted Julie when she was just a puppy. They were drawn to her piercing blue eyes, her soft fur, and the warmth in her heart. They had heard about her troubled past, abandoned by her first owners, found wandering in the streets, hungry and scared, and then taken to a shelter. She was a survivor, and her resilience had won the hearts of her new family. Julie had shown nothing but love and loyalty since that day. Still, they had been a little concerned about her when they found out they were pregnant. After all, she had always been the center of their lives and never had to compete with anyone for their attention before. This is what made Sarah and Michael a little worried about how she was going to react to the incoming baby. Throughout her pregnancy, Sarah had found Julie to be quite elusive. She no longer cuddled with her and would often just stop dead in her tracks, stare at her, and then walk away. This further exacerbated their concerns over Julie's reaction to their baby. Dogs are normally well known for their sweet reactions to their owners being pregnant, but Julie's behavior was nothing of the sort. In fact, it was just the opposite. If this was how she was going to react to the child still growing in her owner's belly, how on earth would she feel and act when the baby was finally out? But when Sarah went into labor and they began their journey into having a home birth, Julie loyally stayed by her owner. It was the first time in months that Sarah had seen her sweet pup truly caring for her. Julie comforted her throughout her contractions and gave her the strength to deliver her child successfully. It was at that moment that Sarah should have realized the potential Julie had in soothing her baby. Coming back to the present moment, the Johnsons continued to struggle with their daughter screaming over and over. Her constant bawling had started causing fights between them as a couple and generally just made their home life a living hell. But while they were discussing the possibility of calling her pediatrician again, something surprising happened. As Lily continued to wail, Julie approached her gently. She nuzzled the baby with her cold nose, displaying a remarkable tenderness. It was as though the dog sensed the baby's pain and sought to offer comfort in her own canine way. Sarah and Michael only noticed the Husky's closeness to their daughter when they saw Lily reach out to touch Julie's nose and held their breath in expectation. But the dog seemed to understand that this was not a simple tantrum and kept stoically calm while the baby flailed her tiny hands in the air. Lily's cries were especially troubling because she had recently recovered from a severe illness. She had been hospitalized for weeks and the experience had been a harrowing one for her parents. It had happened in just a few hours and Julie had been the one to alert them to the danger. They had put Lily down for the night and gone downstairs to eat. Just an hour later, Julie had begun to cause a fuss, pawing at Sarah and then running off. Initially, she had thought that the dog just wanted to play, but when she eventually decided to follow Julie, she took her straight to Lily's room. Confused, Sarah went in to find her daughter running an extremely high temperature and coughing. The couple then rushed her off to the hospital with Julie in tow. They could hardly believe they had been so unaware of what was happening. If it hadn't been for their dog's intuition, they would have carried on thinking she was okay and only caught the issue way later. The doctors commended the parents for bringing her in as soon as they did. Turns out little Lily had contracted a sinusitis infection and needed emergency care. The situation was extremely stressful for the couple. Their little baby looked so helpless, hooked up to all the tubes and wires. 
Sarah and Michael took turns staying by her side at the hospital, their hearts aching for their daughter. They didn't want to go home and leave their baby's side, so they kindly requested that Julie come in and keep Lily company as an emotional support dog. The hospital reluctantly allowed her in, and from the moment Julie entered Lily's hospital room, she acted like an additional nurse for her human sister. The bond between them grew much stronger during this period of adversity. Julie would sit by Lily's bedside, her large, comforting frame serving as a protective barrier between her and the sterile hospital environment. She would rest her head on Lily's bed, and sometimes, when the nurses allowed it, she would gently lick the baby's tiny fingers, as if reassuring her that she wasn't alone in this battle. In the darkest hours of their lives, Sarah and Michael found solace in the furry presence of Julie. They knew that their beloved husky understood the gravity of the situation, and they believed she was doing everything she could to comfort their baby. When Lily finally started to recover, they were overjoyed, but their relief was tinged with a new kind of worry. Her endless cries had seeped into their hearts. Before this medical emergency, they had never really worried too much when Lily cried. But now, every little whimper shot their anxiety through the roof. The doctors had assured them she was fine, but any time she started crying, they couldn't help but wonder if she was only yearning for the comfort of her parents' arms or lamenting something more serious in the only way she knew. This is why they were still debating calling her pediatrician, when suddenly, another sound attracted their attention. There, sitting next to Lily with her nose thrown into the air, was Julie the Husky. She had joined in on the baby's crying with a howl of her own. In a symphony, the two cried out to the world. When Lily realized what was happening, she stopped crying and looked at Julie in confusion. The husky then stopped howling and turned to lick her face, which resulted in a raucous amount of laughter from the little baby. Sarah and Michael couldn't help but join in on the laughter. The sweet little moment was tinged with the utmost relief. Not only was their daughter's laughter proof that she wasn't crying about something serious, but now they also knew that if Lily ever got herself into a state, they could use Julie to calm her down. All their fears had proven to be silly. Intrigued, Michael pulled out his phone, captured the heartwarming scene, and posted it online. He wanted to share the remarkable connection between Lily and Julia, and perhaps give hope to other parents facing similar challenges. They had learned the hard way that parents could trust their pets, because sometimes they were more competent with babies than they might come to realize at first. The video quickly went viral, and Julie became an internet sensation. Julie's gentle and empathetic nature won over the hearts of countless strangers who admired her devotion to her human sister. This nurse-like behavior continued every time the sweet baby got slightly upset. Whenever Julie heard Lily cry or fuss, she would approach her crib and start howling or licking her face. The change was almost instantaneous. Regardless of how many times it happened, it would leave Sarah and Michael utterly astounded. They watched with mouths agape as their baby, who had been a bundle of misery just moments earlier, started to giggle and coo. As Lily continued to grow, so did her bond with Julie. They became inseparable, partners in crime as well as companions. When Lily learned to crawl, Julie was always right there, her fluffy tail wagging in excitement as she encouraged the baby's newfound mobility. Together, they explored the world in their own unique way, forging an unbreakable connection. She was clearly glad to have a playmate with endless energy, and Sarah and Michael were more than happy to let their sweet dog step in to entertain the baby at the end of a stressful day. But Julie's loyalty extended beyond playtime. She was always vigilant, keeping a watchful eye on Lily, as if she had been appointed as her guardian by some cosmic force. When Lily was down with a cold or had a rough day, Julie would snuggle up beside her, providing the warmth and comfort that only a dog can offer. Years passed, and Lily grew into a spirited toddler. She was full of energy and enthusiasm, always ready to explore the world and learn new things. Julie was right there with her, her fur now flecked with a hint of gray, a testament to the passage of time. Their bond had only deepened, evolving into an unspoken understanding between the two of them. One summer day, Lily and Julie decided to embark on an adventure. Armed with a small backpack filled with snacks, they ventured into the nearby forest, a place they'd never explored together before. The rustling leaves and chirping birds filled the air, creating a symphony of nature's beauty. 
Lily laughed and ran under the watchful eyes of her parents following slowly with Julie trailing right behind her. They discovered wildflowers, chased butterflies, and even found a hidden clearing where they had a picnic of peanut butter sandwiches and apple slices. It was a perfect day, filled with joy and laughter. As the afternoon sun began to dip below the horizon, the two adventurers decided it was time to head back home and retrace their steps back to the safety of their little house. But as they neared the edge of the forest, something caught Julie's attention. She halted, her ears perked, and her nose twitched. It was a faint sound, barely audible, but Julie recognized it immediately. It was a whimper, the cry of a small creature in distress. Lily, noticing her loyal companion's sudden change in demeanor, turned to her with a puzzled look. What's wrong, Julie? She asked. Julie turned to Lily, her eyes filled with a sense of purpose. She knew she had to follow that sound, and she wanted her human friend to come with her. Being a toddler, Lily didn't quite understand what was happening. All she knew was that her most trusted companion in the world was asking her for help, and that she couldn't refuse that call. While her parents were distracted walking ahead, they ventured deeper into the forest, following the trail of the faint cries. They soon stumbled upon a tiny abandoned puppy, a brown and white ball of fur that was shivering with fear. It had been left all alone in the wilderness, and it was clear that it wouldn't survive much longer without help. Lily looked at the puppy with wide eyes. She had never seen anything so helpless. Julie, on the other hand, immediately took charge. She gently picked up the puppy in her mouth, holding it like a mother would her baby. Her instincts were coming through now, just like they had when Lily was a newborn all those years prior. With the new addition to their party, Julie led Lily and the puppy back to their home. Sarah and Michael were frantically searching for them and were shocked to see the tiny, trembling puppy they had picked up in the woods. However, they understood that Julie had found a soul in need of rescue, just as she had once been rescued herself. The family decided to adopt the puppy and named her Daisy. Over time, Daisy grew and became best friends with Lily, just like Julie had been with her. They formed an inseparable trio who shared adventures, laughter, and love, their bond an unbreakable testament to the power of companionship. When Daisy was frightened, she would cry terribly, only for Lily to comfort her, just like Julie had taught her during her own childhood. She would hold her tight in a fluffy blanket and sing to her, with Julie joining in with her good old howl. Sarah and Michael couldn't help but laugh at the dynamic. All those years later, the two best friends were still at it. Michael made sure to film these moments too, to share with his online followers. People couldn't get enough of the heartwarming footage of the best friends comforting the little pup. To see a bond like that, knowing it came from when Lily was just a baby, was simply remarkable. As the years rolled on, the family continued to share their adventures and heartwarming moments with the world, documenting their extraordinary journey on social media. Lily, now a bit older, would often sit with Julie and Daisy, recounting their adventures to anyone who cared to listen. She told them about the time they rescued Daisy, and how, in that moment, she had understood the importance of looking out for those in need, just like Julie had looked out for her when she was a baby. Sarah and Michael would often reminisce about their troubling introduction to parenthood, and often counted their blessings that they had rescued Julie all those years prior. In many ways, she had been their guide through a very difficult and strenuous time being first-time parents to a baby that would cry so relentlessly. Who would have thought that their dog would have been better at calming their child than themselves? What a heartwarming story! It's not every day that you hear about a dog being a better parent than a human. What do you think about Julie's reaction to Lily's crying? Would you let a big dog so close to a tiny baby? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Till next time.